good morning it is july 11th um it's 11 day 11 of vlogmas so really for me it's day two um because i skipped the first couple days while we were on vacation um so let's see project check-in i finished a pair of socks yesterday they were mostly done all i had left was to finish the toe and then pop on an afterthought heel um so those were easy i have another pair of socks that basically only needs one afterthought heel done. So I will do that today and have another finished object. Um, I set a goal for myself of using up one skein of yarn per day, which sounds like insane, but they're not 100 gram skeins. They're like 15 gram skeins. So it's not as intense as it sounds. Um, the scrappy socks used six colors. So I'm gonna do one color a day and hopefully that works out because I really am trying to stash down. I've gained a lot of yarn this year, even though despite very like concerted and specific efforts to stash down and a lot of the yarn I've received is not yarn I've purchased. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm at, I think 405 skeins of yarn and I count every single thing in my stash. If it's a partial skein, if it's a mini, every single thing is counted in my stash. So that's all the yarn I have. My goal, I think where I want to live is somewhere between, I mean, ideally under a hundred, but that feels challenging. Somewhere between a hundred and 200, I think is where I want to be. So it's still about, I want to knit it down about half my stash. So I originally had goals of making that happen by December, but I'm at 405 and that's 200 skeins in less than a half a year, which is more than a skein a day. So that doesn't seem that reasonable for me. So it'll be a process. Maybe each year I'm down a hundred skeins. So like this year, my goal is to stay under 300. Um, which has proved to be much more challenging than I thought. I am vacillating right now. Somewhere between like 390 and 410 is where I keep wanting to sit. So I'm trying to break that. It kind of feels like working out. You know, like when you, like you plateau in your workouts, you need something else to like jumpstart it. You got to try a different workout, different training program, that kind of thing. Um, fortunately, I don't plateau that much when I'm working out because, um, like the weather <laughs> dictates my workout a lot. So in the winter time, I cross train because I'm an absolute baby about it being cold. Um, so I hardly run in the winter time. So I cross train a lot. And then the summer I pick up a lot of running because I've got more time. I don't have to leave, get for, ready for work. Um, it's warmer, um, those kind of things. So I kind of have like two seasons of working out. So it's, I'm fortunate that I don't get bored and plateau that much. So that's good. Um, whips, let's see. I am still working on my super bloom. That was that we cast on at Jimmy Bean's wool retreat, which was awesome. Um, so I'm still working on that. Um, I still really like it. I'm, I'm struggling with this, with the single ply at this point, like I'm over it. Um, yeah, I'm really over it. I don't like single ply. It's so hard to knit with for me. And all the, everything else I'm knitting with is not single ply. So I'm finding it hard to like be motivated to do this single ply situation. Um, I don't know how, I don't know how my fellow knitters and crocheters out there do single ply all the time because man, it's not for me. Um, so I'm working on that. I have a pair of socks to finish. I have my red and green Christmas socks that I haven't touched yet. So those are my like three whips. And then the next thing I have, I've got two like whips in waiting, I guess, which is my Hanukkah sweater, which is a test knit. I'm super excited. Um, the test knit group is pretty small. Um, there's only like seven people. So she may still be taking testers if you want to do a Hanukkah sweater. Um, I'm not Jewish, by the way, um, but Hanukkah is my favorite um, winter holiday. 
Uh, my best friend is Jewish and we always celebrated Hanukkah. We've been friends since we were like three. So I've been, so I celebrated Hanukkah basically all my life. I still celebrate Hanukkah now. Um, as an adult, I obviously don't get to see my best friend nearly as much as I go to her house, but I make latkes and her parents, um, when I got married, generously gave me a menorah. So I light my menorah every night on Hanukkah. Um, so yes, um, I'm excited to have a Hanukkah sweater to go with it. Um, what else? And then the Stephen West socks, which, oh my gosh, they seem crazy, which I'm going to knit in Christmas colors. But my phone is beeping at me that I have low storage and I need to delete some stuff. So I'm going to do that. Um, do a quick run today. It's just like a maintenance running day. I'm trying to pick up my speed in terms of running. So I do long days and then I do like speed days. So today is a speed day. Um, let's see how that goes. I'm going to watch some of MC Blame the Knots. She, um, she's doing the tour de fleece and it's been really cool to watch her because I don't spin anymore. I do know how to spin. I spun for a long time when I was a teenager, but spinning for me feels similar to card making in that it's a lot of set, like you have to have a setup, right? And with my kids, that just doesn't work out for me. I'm struggling making my sewing happen and my sewing machine is up on the table. So it's like out of their play area. My spinning wheel, the one that I have is like on the floor. So it'd be like, I don't know. It doesn't work out for, we, for me where I am in this current season of life. Anyway, maybe it'll work out later. Okay, gotta run. Bye. All right, it is supposed to be 102 degrees today. So that means I am doing all of my cooking and um, meal stuff right now because it is too hot to do it later on. However, we have solar energy um, or solar panels on our roof. So that means doing, I need to do all the chores during the hot parts of the day because obviously that's when you have the most sun. So I've got laundry going. I have, you can see the dish rack behind me. I have a dish rack to unload. Um, and then I am working on my quinoa lunch right now. So I am making, but it's only nine o'clock. I just finished eating breakfast. Um, I had leftovers. Uh, Daniel, my husband, brought home butter chicken last night, so I just didn't finish my butter chicken, and then brought that home. Sorry, I'm not looking at the camera while I'm doing this because I don't know how influencers do it and don't potentially um, cut their hand off, so I'm going to look at what I'm cutting because I don't want to cut my finger. Um, so... I just had leftover butter chicken and a blueberry muffin that my grandma made us because we got a Safeway order yesterday. Oh, my daughter's saying, no, Anthony, that's my uncle, gave us the but the muffins because Bubby, or my grandma, didn't pick us up. So Anthony was the delivery person. Um, so we got a grocery delivery yesterday, which was great. That's how I have some food, but they left out our bread, which was like the key thing that holds all, holds us all together is bread. Um, so we didn't have anything for toast because I was, I got avocados and cucumbers for avocado and cucumber toast. Excellent. So that's what we're doing. Uh, Lottie's at the dentist this morning. We had a mix up about what time we thought the dentist was because um, it was originally at 920 and then they switched it to nine. But then when they sent me the confirmation text about the dentist, it was at, it's at 920 again. So we were like, all right, it's 920. But apparently the computer automated system was incorrect. So that didn't go great. That's all right. Um, so for my quinoa I learned at Jimmy King's Wool that I like it with like lots more stuff in it so I am cutting up basically 
all the fruits and vegetables that we own to put in. So I've got, right now I'm dicing an onion. Um, and I'm putting in the whole entire onion. And I'll put some garlic in. I have got a sweet potato. I've got some chicken Parmesan sausage. And I'm going to do some cilantro. And then obviously the quinoa. And I eat my quinoa cold. Um, because I don't like, I don't really like the smell of warm quinoa. It's a little bit, um, it's acidic. Oopsies. Smelling. So, I am going to eat it. I eat it cold, almost like a quinoa salad. And then I asked Daniel to pick something up for dinner because it's going to be 102 and I don't want to cook so late in the day when it's, um, when it spikes because in California, the hottest part of the day is usually around two or three, which is obviously when I would start dinner. Um, and it's not going to work out for us, but which would be a great time for me to use electricity because, you know, solar. So I have cut all my onions. I'm going to saute them. There isn't really a recipe for this. I just kind of do it. So I'm going to saute my onions and then, sorry, I chopped my own head off. I'm going to saute my onions, throw in some garlic. So I'll time lapse the rest of this. Okay, so I'm not sewing on the Etsy store today, but I am fixing my daughter's dress. See, I added pleats to it because um, it was made a size like too big. It's looking like it was maybe two inches too large in the neckline, and I'm probably about an inch too, too large on either bust. So I'm about to fix that, but my younger one is upset, so I'll go around. <laughs> 